An activity that we all can do with some <laughs> cardboard. Just yes, yeah, so this is sort of like the opposite end of the spectrum to the Hobbit yeah. house, which was a two day go to the hardware store. This is a go into your garage or basement, pull out stuff you already have and get it done in 10 minutes. Yeah, get a box. although I remember as a kid, my parents would buy like a new refrigerator and it was the box. Oh yeah. Oh, when a refrigerator box shows up, that's yeah. big news. That's, that, that's over the top. We should figure out, we should do something with that. Oh, yeah. uh, we could wonderful. Build, we could all right, a, so uh, you brought a little video showing yeah, us. Yeah, so uh, we did a shadow, a shadow puppet theater. Introducing the amazing Shadow Puppet Show. The amazing Shadow Puppet Show. Dim the lights. One day, a little girl arrived. Yes. Her name was Coco. Coco. <laughs> it's like they loved it. Coco loved making it with me. The little kids loved. Flynn and Margo loved watching it. Um, I had to take the puppets with me today. There were tears. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, we'll have to add some to the table. Well, what a great way to use their imagination and storybook time. Right, great. exactly. Dr. J. J. Remember back in Christmas, she was doing a puppet giveaway, mm -hmm. and she was yeah. talking about how important that storytelling and imagination is for brain development. Sure. So it's fun and good for you. All right. So how do we start? So we started earlier today um, making the actual theater. Let's roll that tape. Again, really, just a cardboard box. This is 24 by 24, but any size will do. And cut your sort of proscenium, that's opening in the front, um, whatever size. They left about two inches around all size, so it was still kind of sturdy. Um, and then I wanted to add a little window up above. So you just got to roll the tape, trace that, and then a dinner plate to scallop each corner to give it a real kind of theater opening. And cut all those out with a simple uh, utility knife, exacto blade, scissors, whatever you have lying around. And there's really no right or wrong. You don't even have to do this. You can just have the box. But this makes it feel a little bit special. Now you want to create an opening in the side where you can operate the puppets. So just cut a simple rectangle. Again, leave a couple inches around the edge so you have some support. Um, and then on the back, you want to create another circle, which is where you're going to put your light. Um, so as soon as you've done that, you're done with your theater. Now to create the screen, I'm just using white butcher paper. You can also use wax paper, parchment paper, again, whatever you have lying around, um, cut a square to fit, and then just insert it in, and with a couple of strips of tape, um, sort of put it down. You do want to try to get most of the edges down because you don't want sort of light leaking around it. Right. Um, right. It's very simple, and then I did another little piece at the top for my little circle just to add a little extra oomph. Um, and really, that is it. So, you know, if you went out to buy everything, you're probably talking $8, but Seriously, you know you have this in your house. I just know you do. I've seen those theaters go up to three hundred and fifty dollars. When they get, they can get yeah. like really yeah. fancy, very expensive. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the good point is, whatever you invest in this, you can yeah. recoup with ticket sales. <laughs> this is a very good point. They're always saying sense of peace. Yep. All right. What's, what's our next step? What's next? So next, we're going to actually make the puppets, and there's several ways you can do this. Like if if you're not a drawer, you can print out silhouettes online. Mm. One thing that I was going to do is we have damaged books, kids' books that we've ripped out the pages, actually cutting the characters out of damaged books, oh, using wow. those as a template. So there's really sure. lots of options. And you really want to do, you saw in that when I did with Coco, I had a tree. Here I also did grass. I did uh, the twins, Margo and, and, and uh, Margo and Flynn. But if you want to get a little bit fancy, like I did with the Coco doll here, what you do is cut out the body, and then you want to cut out the legs separately. And oh, then, I was wondering what that was like. Was it, what yeah, is so, a dog? What is that? <laughs> then just do little brass fasteners, and you just go straight through. And it gives um, it movement. Exactly. Yeah. And that's going to give you the little, like, you know, the, the little moving oh. legs action. Can you see that? How there? cool yeah. is that? Now, for the actual operating it, what you're going to do is just get a bamboo skewer. And this gets a little bit tricky, but this is, is worth it. Um, get a longer piece of tape, and you're going to fold the tape over the top, okay, like this, so you have a little tab. Oh, we control it, okay. And then you're going to get another piece of tape, because now you have nothing sticky here. Mm -hmm. Fold this over and then tape that oh, piece that's of tape not that difficult. down. Okay. Yeah. So then basically what that does, whoops. And then pull it out? <laughs> and then pull it out and start all over again. <laughs> so what that's going to do is, if you can see here, that gives you control. And then if you have something like this Coco's <clears throat> little hand here, you can do the exact same thing with the second piece. Oh, so you have a real puppet. And you can actually just tape that, that. That's so onto cute. the hand. Okay. 
Oh. And then you can control it. That's great. Well, so, and it's lit up. Yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's dim. Yeah, our so let lights. me show you right okay, here okay. just how we did the yeah. on the inside for the actual light. All this is is a clip-on lamp. You can see that there. I'll turn it on, and then I did a second one up above, another clip-on light, and that's going to light up our little sort of. Yeah sky there and nice. that's as easy so shall right. we have a puppet show yes. Yes. shall we do it let's uh we're gonna dim the lights oh yeah i got please. this oh you I got, got it? this yeah Our, where's the oh yeah here's let me see there's the switch okay are you ready <laughs> when did we put that in uh, well no this is the this is all power this goes to the whole, the whole house so it goes yeah. to the whole universal oh, studios here we go oh. <laughs> there we go thank you mark thank you okay. for that. <laughs> all right are we ready do 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 Hi, I'm Christina Ferrari. Welcome to Home and Family. 